So the Philadelphia Eagles have made another addition to their 90-man roster, and as they report to training camp today at the NovaCare Complex in South Philadelphia to officially embark on the 2023 season, Deion Kane will be in attendance. Philadelphia Eagles signing him, and this is a player who played really well for the Birds last year throughout the preseason, goes to the USFL, and in the championship game, he went off good enough for USFL MVP honors in that title game as he was able to accumulate three touchdowns in that matchup. Aaron Wilson breaking the story here as the Eagles set to really begin training camp today and then they start their first practice tomorrow. He tweeted out that Deion Kane was going to work out with the Eagles saying this, that wide receiver Deion Kane per a league source MVP of the USFL championship game after catching three touchdown passes was going to work out with Philadelphia. The former Clemson player has previous stints with the Eagles, Ravens, Steelers, and Colts. He was a six-round pick for Indianapolis a few years ago as we're about to unpack. And then just moments later, he tweeted out that it's official. Eagles are going to sign him. He played for the Stallions last year in the USFL and, of course, won the MVP in that title game. You look at his career trajectory up to this point, spent a couple of years playing for Dabo Sweeney at Clemson from 2015 to 2017. Pretty solid career there. Good enough for him to be a six-round pick for Indianapolis in 2018. Spends a couple of years with the Colts on their active roster. Goes to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Spends two seasons there. Then a couple of practice squad stints. Baltimore Ravens in 2021. And then spending time with the Philadelphia Eagles part of that season. And then in 2022, did not make the final 53-man roster for the Birds. He was one of the final cuts for Howie Roseman in this front office. Goes to the USFL, plays for the Birmingham Stallions, and played really well. You look at the numbers that he put forward in 2022 in the preseason for the Eagles. Had a good game against the Cleveland Browns, as evidenced by the photo in the backdrop here. 19 targets, 0 drops, 8 catches, 106 yards, and was a big-bodied, jump ball physical wide receiver who made plays downfield and had that catch radius and the physicality to go up and get it on some of those contested 50-50 balls. And I think he's a really intriguing player. Look, I don't think he's going to make this roster a good practice squad player, though. And as that big-bodied prototype kind of gives the Eagles that physical presence at that wide receiver position that they don't necessarily have. And last year throughout training camp and in the preseason, he was turning some heads, being able to make some plays downfield. And that's a big reason why he stuck with this team in all three preseason games and nearly made the 53-man roster. I was actually an advocate for him making the squad, but Howie Roseman going elsewhere, obviously, for that final 53-man team. So when the Eagles make a signing, we're obviously going to discuss it here on Philadelphia Eagles. Now, this is why you subscribe. And can we get to 47,000 subscribers with this video? Lock us in, hit that sub button, because Eagles training camp is here, and our coverage is about to increase right here on the program. His USFL stats, also pretty good. Of course, you have to talk about the drop down in competition throughout the year. 16 catches, 182 yards, two touchdowns. He was also a kick returner, though. And I think the Eagles are a little bit light as far as kick returners go with the players on this team right now. 668 yards returning kicks at the USFL level. Do the Eagles maybe have plans to use him there for special teams to bolster up that unit? And while the regular season numbers weren't insane by any measure, look, in the USFL championship game, I was actually watching it because that's how starved I am for football. Four catches, 70 yards, three touchdowns, 17 and a half yards per catch. Nobody could guard this guy. And a big reason for that is a big reason why I like the addition of him on this 90-man roster, and I do expect him to be one of the final cuts once again for the Eagles. It's just the height advantage that he has going up against some smaller cornerbacks. All of this talk about the Eagles starting training camp, beginning the 2023 season, it has me pumped up. If you're pumped up for Eagles training camp, smash that thumbs up icon and like the video if you're with me. So the Eagles wide receivers on the 90-man roster as of right now, of course, before the first wave of cuts in a couple of weeks, Devin Allen going to have an opportunity to make this football team once again 
one of the fastest guys in the world as he is a track star. A couple of weeks ago, able to tally another crazy 100, 110 meter dash or whatever it was. A.J. Brown coming off a record-breaking season. I think he's a top five wide out in the game. Tyree Cleveland, Britton Covey could be the returner for this team. Once again, very sure-handed. Not a lot of return yards last year, though. Jane Hazelwood coming out of high school was the number one High school recruit goes to Oklahoma, played there with Jalen Hurts, and then transferred to Arkansas, undrafted free agent after the 2023 draft. Then you look at Joseph Nagata, also played at Clemson, like Deion Kane, Charleston Rambo, put up monster numbers at the college level. Devontae Smith, a record-breaking season for him. For A.J. Brown, broke the single-season franchise record for receiving yards. Devontae Smith with the breaking record, breaking the record, excuse me, of receptions in a single season. Greg Ward, Quez Watkins, Olamide Zacchaeus, kind of rounding out all of the wide receivers on this 90 man. And of course, for Deion Kane, going to be a little bit of an uphill battle, but was one of the final cuts on last year's preseason team. So he obviously impressed this front office and this coaching staff enough a year ago. And then once again, for him to be signed right before the start of training camp. And the Eagles are in a good spot at wide receiver as far as the starters go heading into this year. A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith form one of the best wide receiver duos in the National Football League. Brown, just an incredible season last year coming over from Tennessee. Jalen Hurts gets his bona fide number one wide out, 88 catches, nearly 1,500 yards and 11 touchdowns. And then Devontae Smith, on many other teams, he would be the number one Wide out, it's kind of like a 1B on this team, but clean route runner, slippery in the open field, plays bigger than his size, great at catching some of those sideline balls, and because he plays larger than his size, good contested catch wide receiver, even though he's a little bit slight, but 95 catches, his usage rate very high last year for almost 1,200 yards and seven touchdowns, and then if Quez Watkins can put it together as that home run threat, the guy who can take the top off of the defense, that will make this unit a little bit deeper, and many of you are not familiar with Olamide Zacchaeus. Cool story here, actually played at St. Joe's Prep just like DeAndre Swift, and went to Virginia, undrafted guy, made that Falcons roster as a rookie, and as the years progressed, he got better and better and then earned more playing time. And last year, a really solid season for him. 40 catches, 533 yards, three touchdowns. As far as the 40-yard dash goes, he doesn't have that up and down speed, the vertical speed that Quez Watkins does, but he plays fast. And I think a lot of people are going to be intrigued by him as he was a late signing in free agency by the Eagles. And the Eagles' depth at wide receiver and for overall pass catchers is just a little bit of a concern. I'm not going to tally it as a monster concern for this football team, but in 2022, A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, Dallas Goddard accounted for 69% of the Eagles' targets and 80% of their intended air yards. So if they were to get hurt, that's when the Eagles receiving core, which was a massive strength and dominant last year, becomes a little bit worrisome for this squad this upcoming season. So grade the signing of Deion Kane. Let's hear from you. I know a lot of you really like the player because last year I had just taken over the channel. Huge honor for me. Appreciate everybody for the support. And we were talking about Deion Kane, maybe making this team. I think on my final 53-man roster projection, I wanted him to make the squad. So A, B, C, D, or F, grade the signing. And if any of you want to interact with me on Twitter and Instagram, now's the time to do that. Plenty to talk about with the Eagles here. Find me on Twitter. Find me on Instagram. I guess Twitter is being called X now. Not sure what the deal is. Either way, you can give me a follow. It's the same handle on both social media platforms. Great opportunity for you to stay informed with the bird. Subscribe. Turn on those notice. Therefore, anytime we go live, anytime the Eagles make a move, anytime we push out a video, you will be notified. Thank you.